All right, here is a keto shop. I'm not gonna even share how much this costs because inflation is out of this world. But the necessities of keto is all this stuff. So avocados are key when you are doing keto, keto omad, or just eating a keto diet. Um, I got organic avocado because personally, I like how the organic avocados taste. Um, I was listening to Angela Chat or Textura. She is an she was a Miss Olympia bikini, and she actually is very conscious of this stuff. She's very conscious of having organic stuff, but she says she prefers this taste of non-organic avocado. Me, personally, I prefer the cake taste of organic avocado. So I got two packs because I need to make sure I'm eating that. Got some mixed greens, some charzo sausages. I have a meal plan set up. I'll share it with you guys as I go. I got some salami. I've got some, uh, what do you call this, chopped basil. I've got some aged cheddar. Aged cheese is actually better for the gut microbiome. I learned about that by Dr. Mindy Pals. And aged cheddar um, just tastes better. <laughs> so it's actually better for you because it doesn't have that, I don't know, what is it? The enzyme that's in there that makes people have like lactose intolerance issues. So that's why I'm a big fan of that. So aged cheddar. And I also got some old fork cheese. Like anything that's aged is better for your gut. Um, I got some salami. I got some sockeye salmon like little pieces. It's funny because I was looking at this at the grocery store and there was all like, I was like, oh, cool, Norwegian salmon. And then it was like made, but processed in Greece or made in Greece. I was like, what? That makes no sense. I really wanted authentic Norwegian salmon, but here we go. Maybe I'll try it. Um, some poultry, like herb blend and mackerel. Mackerel is key. You want fatty fish, fatty fish, fatty fish. And I got these on the wind. These are like lean turkey bites. So I'll use these. How many six grams of protein i eh, thought i would have had more but i would use these just to help increase my protein got some feta cheese and some pink himalayan sea salt so this is why i love keto guys literally i had a keto breakfast it was this cheesy egg it was really good so it was like two eggs with heavy cream and some cheese on it so freaking good and i had some french green beans and I am not even hungry. This is me coming off my fast, by the way, coming off my three-day fast. But um, from yesterday, this is like my first full day of eating keto. And I had enough energy at the gym and I my inflammation's calmed down. So I'm really glad I'm doing this keto thing. If it's working out for me, I might just go right through my cycle, but we'll see, we'll play it by ear. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat my second meal and I'm actually going out with my friend tonight to her restaurant. I already know what to get. So there's like, she has a friend that has is also keto and they get like a certain meal. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And that is what I call a proper keto grocery list. Now, when you're doing a keto diet, people mistaken the keto diet as something that you're eating like mainly meat and fat. But it's a diet where you want to be able to consume a lot of leafy greens. It's so important to do that. It's a diet where you want to get a variety of sources of protein, not just, you know, the standard steak or the standard pork rib or chicken. You want to get things like edamame beans. You want to get things like fish, fatty fish, like mackerel, like salmon. You also want to get in some lean proteins as well. So the importance of doing that is that you want to get your fat ratios correct. And when I say fat ratios, there are three types of fat or maybe four. There's trans fat. We don't want trans fat because that's chemically processed fat. There's saturated fat, which is found naturally in a lot of red meats. There is monosaturated fats and there is polyunsaturated fats. You want to make sure your fat ratios are at an even about 25% per each with saturated fat being slightly the most, especially for us women, as this is important for our hormonal health. This is something I've learned throughout my personal training journey with Marcella, which, which is why I think it's so beneficial to get a personal trainer because they know a lot and you can learn a lot from them. And it's important to do that. So you get your sources of monounsaturated fats from things like avocado, olive oil, pistachios, peanuts, cashews, macadamia, and nut oils. And polyunsaturates come from mainly sources like 
fatty fish, walnuts, almonds, pecans, um, and sources like that. Insaturated fat, obviously you get from things like red meat, beef, pork, and the whole lot. So you wanna get your fat from a variety of sources. You want to be able to get your meals from a variety of sources. Why? Because we wanna focus on the micronutrients. Micronutrients are very important and many diets and many apps actually neglect that. That's something I kinda of learned through my fitness pal, but I'm currently using a new app that I will talk more about in a future video where they actually emphasize the importance of the micronutrients. Cause I was using my fitness pal and I was trying to hit my fat ratios and I couldn't understand why I didn't hit it. And then when I opened up the details, when people entered in the food details, when they scanned it, they weren't putting in the monounsaturated fats, the polyunsaturated fats and everything. So that completely messed me up. But anyway, this is how you do keto. You stuff your face with vegetables. You just don't eat meat. You make sure you get a variety of sources of fat and you make sure you enjoy this weight loss journey. Anyway, I hope you liked this little quick keto grocery haul video. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word leafy greens. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.